Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 90 with me Craig Barton. Now last week we featured a resource that had been downloaded over 20,000 times whereas this week we've got a resource that at the time of recording has been only downloaded a measly 236 times and for me that's a crime against top quality maths resources so I'm here to try and set that right because this resource is wonderful and personally I've not seen anything like it before on TES. It's called The Box which sounds like the kind of TV show Philip Schofield might present but in fact it is a, better than that. It's a wonderful self-contained maths resource all of which that fits onto a single PowerPoint slide. So let's have a look at it. Hopefully you can see this when I, uh, when I blow that up. I think most of that fits into your, into your video screen. So here it is, there are 20 questions all based around a box with dimensions X, Y, and Z. And this covers loads of different maths topics. So we've got bog standard volume, uh, we have surface area flying in there, we've got different length, we can change the dimensions, uh, uh, if we change the values of X, Y, and Z, look, we've got different units creeping in there, three, four, and five for question three. Uh, then we've got similarity in there. What happens if I increase each of the lengths? What happens to the volume of it? What happens if I decrease the lengths by 10%? Then we get a lovely bit of standard form in the mix. Um, different dimensions, upper and lower bounds, surface area, um, as I mentioned before, algebraic expressions if the length is x plus 1 and x minus 1, and so on and so forth. Bit of a quadratic formula, factorising, third alert, they come into play a bit later on. 3D trigonometry uh, with a bit of Pythagoras, and again, similarity there. Now, what I love about this is you get all those topics, and I reckon there's about 12 or 13 topics there, all contained in one single PowerPoint slide. And this is, for me, absolutely ideal for um, a bright, keen, able, let's say, year 10 or year 11 class. Because the beauty of this is I don't need to stand at the front of the class and start chatting for 10, 15 minutes explaining what we need to do. I can just drop this in front of them and say, see if you can get to the end. How many of these 20 questions can you go through? And you've actually probably got two or three lessons worth of work here covering some really tricky um, GCSE topics. It's even good, and one of our members of staff, Erica, she's used it for this, for uh, for a core one students. And um, in those first couple of weeks when they've forgotten absolutely everything you've taught them at GCSE and you want to get them A level ready, this is a great activity to give them just to just check all those fundamental skills are still in play. And thank God the answers are also provided because there's some really, really tricky stuff going on here. <laughs> But look at that, like, think of all the topics that you're boxing off, excuse the pun there, just in this one particular one particular activity. A lovely, lovely thing. Now, some things you might think aren't entirely suitable for your group. So because it's PowerPoint, you can edit those out or take them out or just say to the kids, just do the even numbers or don't do question 17 and so on. But this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful activity. I've just noticed that question 17, even fractions come into play for this. So you really are boxing off, I'll say it again, uh, loads and loads of the fundamentals of higher tier G. GCSE with this. So for a problem solving activity and crucially for the an activity that's almost entirely uh, student led. You as a teacher can do what you need to be doing. That's just wandering around, sitting down with small groups, helping them with any particular issues that they may have whilst they work their way through the dreaded box. So let's get those downloads up. 236 is poor for something like this and the author who's taken the time to create this deserves a lot more so hopefully get that downloaded get trying it out with your students get sharing it with your staff and i shall return with a fresh resource of the week next week take care and bye for now